This is a Fox Urgent on the crisis in the Middle East, a ceasefire in limbo. Israel approves a new 24-hour halt to the fighting in Gaza, but we're now learning that Hamas has already rejected the deal. Connor Powell is live on the ground in Gaza City tonight. Connor. Well, Molly, we understand both Israel and Hamas are under a lot of pressure to negotiate some type of ceasefire agreement. But right now, we understand that Hamas has rejected an extension of a ceasefire that was in place for about 12 hours today. Both Israel and Hamas held to that ceasefire agreement. It actually went very well today. Israel then offered a four-hour extension that was rejected by Hamas. Hamas fired rockets into Israel through much of the night. And then Israel offered another 24-hour humanitarian uh, extension. That's also been rejected by Hamas. The main rationale for their rejection seems to be uh, that they are unhappy with Israeli troops continuing to operate here in Gaza and continuing to destroy the tunnels. Israel has said that with uh, this humanitarian offer, they would still have their military operating here in Gaza. Uh, Hamas has basically rejected that and said, no way, we're not going to accept that. What happens next is not clear. Uh, Secretary of State John Kerry, UN officials and others are meeting in Paris trying to craft some type of cease, cease, ceasefire agreement. But right now, it looks like there is a potential for the resumption of full-on violence and conflict here in Gaza, Molly. And Connor, during this 12-hour ceasefire, you got to see firsthand the damage. What did you witness? Yeah, so during this 12-hour ceasefire, a lot of Palestinians went out uh, and actually did some shopping, trying to get the basic necessities just in case the conflict does resume today. A lot also went out to their homes to assess the damage. What we saw walking around in the neighborhood of Bet Hanun, which has seen some of the heaviest fighting the past three or four days, was utter destruction. I mean, city block after city block completely destroyed. Animals uh, were also killed all over the place. It was a very, very grim sight. Uh, Palestinian officials say at least 100 150 bodies have been pulled out from the rubble today. That brings the death toll to more than 1,000 people. But we expect that number to climb, particularly as they pull out more bodies tomorrow and if we do have this resumption of fighting, which is very, very likely, Molly. All right, Connor Powell standing by for us there in Gaza. Steadfast reporting some incredible pictures. Thank you.